Hello, welcome to part two of my uh, corset update. I'm going to show you another few things I added to the update. And I am running custom music right now. I did a previous video showing how to use custom music on USB hosts. And I'm running the, the Goonies theme, a great guitar medley by Ed Mitchell right now. I'm going into my RetroArch options. And I'm going to show you uh, how to do custom borders. There's an H mod in my corset. So you could add your own custom borders now. I did a preordained uh, bunch of pre-designated custom borders in the past and it is in the XMB custom borders HMOD. And typically if you want to access those and you have that HMOD installed, you're going to go into settings from RetroArch. Then you're going to go into on-screen display. Then on-screen overlay. The default preset is scanline CFG. So if you're on the main interface here, and let me show you this real fast. I'll go out of RetroArch to the main interface. If you go up into display settings and change it to CRT filter, that'll be the scan lines that we're talking about. So I'm going back in there right now. Settings, on-screen display, on-screen overlay. And that's the default one. That's the one that's included with RetroArch, but I also did it in XMB custom borders HMOD that has a bunch of other ones like so like Castlevania and each of these that you want to select you would choose the CFG which would be the configuration file for them but in addition to this I made it possible for you to add your own custom HMODs and I'm going to show you a few of the nuances and things to adjust to as far as doing this today but I'm going to revert back to the normal scan lines one just remember the scan lines one if you ever want to revert back so I'm back to the normal one right now and one thing I would highly recommend doing before you change to another on-screen display, you know, border overlay, I would go into your video settings, and you'll see exactly why you should do this. I'm changing aspect ratio to something that is more crushed in on purpose. I'm doing this on purpose to avoid having the screen be cut off by any of the transparencies that are not the proper size. So right now I'm going to leave that at 3-4. Then I'm going to load a core right here. Let's load my uh, Arcade MAME 2003 core. In fact, I'm going to do this from the main uh, user interface right now. Let's load a Neo Geo game here as an example here. Metal Slug. And we're going to do a custom overlay for Metal Slug that was added. So I'm going to again do what I just said. I'm going to go into settings, video, and I'm going to change this aspect ratio temporarily into a 3-4 just so that I have the screen able to be used when I'm doing adjustments. Then I'm going to back out, go to on-screen display, on-screen overlay, and right here are all the ones that are included in the HMOD, but with the custom variant of the HMOD, it needs to be accessed a different way due to formatting issues and how the the files show up. I had to do this for the Cheats HMOD as well as another HMOD that I'm also including in my core set today. But you're going to go up to the very top where it says Parent Directory and you're going to back out until you see RetroArch and then one more time out. Then you're going to go in Overlay and this is going to be where your custom ones are at that you install through the custom HMOD that I will show you on the computer in a minute. But I'm going to load this uh, Neo Geo one that I did. And Death Row helped me out. I give them props for helping me out with this, uh, you know, getting this all tested and such. I'm loading that. And you see the having the narrower screen right now greatly helps out with this. But what I'm going to do is go back to video settings. And I can actually customize the aspect ratio by changing the numbers here. So I'm going to go to Custom. right there and then I'm gonna start changing these numbers see I could squeeze them in and move the directions until I get what I like and this might take a little bit of work to really get the results you would like to have but some of the overlays have what you'd like but when you're when everything's said and done you can back out to the quick settings and you can do save core override or save game override and use these borders for whichever game or core you'd like to use them for but as of right now, I'm going to change back to this crushed in. And then I'm going to back out and change back to the normal overlay. But 
why not try the game out for a minute to see what it would look like with this tremendous, tre tremendously cool Neo Geo overlay here. I'm going to resume. I didn't set it up properly, of course, mind you, but you'll be able to see a little bit of what it would be closely approximated to. And I'm a huge fan of the glassy transparency effect. That is awesome. It looks like a real, real monitor like you're in the arcade. That is completely awesome. That is not light shining on my screen. That is actually part of the HMOD. So that's one custom one. Now I'm going to go back to my settings. And like I said, once you go back to quick settings and you have the proper aspect ratio, you could do the save core or save game override. But right now I'm just going to revert back to normal so you know how to do that. I'm going into settings. Video. I have 3-4 so that I know what I'm working with. I'm going to go back to the on-screen display. On-screen overlay. And I do not have to go back to my custom folder to change back to the default one. I'm just going to go into here and change back to Scanline CFG. Then I'm going to go back into the video settings. And change aspect ratio back to core provided. Now one thing to mention here is if any of you mess this up, just like if you mess controls up, all you have to do is reinstall RetroArch and it'll revert to the default configuration settings and you will not be stuck in one of these uh you know if you do the overlay border incorrectly you'll be able to revert back right to the default configuration but i'm going to show you on the computer which hmod you need to install to do this and how to do your own custom ones real fast And again, the, the scan lines one comes with RetroArch by default. And then in the core set, I will go to this. And this will be the 124 update. It's been in my update for a, a good week or two now. But the one that has the ones like the Castlevania one and such are right here. XMB RetroArch Borders. You can install that if you want to have some of the pre-designated ones I did. And those are accessible from settings, on-screen display, but if you want to do your custom ones where you have to back out, like I showed you in the video, you're going to want to go into this new HMOD in a folder format here called the Re RetroArch Custom Borders HMOD. And you're going to go in there, and I have the Neo Geo one there as an example. All you have to do is just take any overlay and just rename it the custom PNG, and it'll work right off the bat. And if you want to make more of them, just copy these and rename them. I mean, you could use this as a template to make as many as you want. And you could do the adjustments in RetroArch and save core override, save game override to get the aspect ratio you'd like for any given game. But that's the custom border. It's included in today's core set update. Now I have a couple more videos to do before I post the update. So enjoy this tremendous age mod that many of you have been asking for. This along with the custom music age mod and con custom controller age mod. So I'll be posting it soon.